and welcome back to Holden's Golden Age of Wargaming. And uh, <clears throat> I guess I got a little carried away and started the turn without actually starting to record the video. And then when I went to reload, instead I accidentally saved it. So uh, I guess we'll I'll just catch you up. I didn't do very much, but uh, what happened here was these two uh, infantry units, including the one that our, the cavalry smashed through, uh, they have routed. And he, these guys uh, fled into the woods. And then to deal with this cavalry, I started by moving the pikemen down towards, towards the cavalry and uh, then changed formation, putting them into block formation. However, I believe that if pikemen, if we melee attack this cavalry, we will, all we're going to do is push them away. So I don't know how much, how much good that will do, except for hopefully we'll have them in our zone of control um, and keep them contained. But I would like to get a few shots off at them. The only problem is... Now our line looks, well, we're, the French are in, uh, we have big problems here. Big problems. Uh, we have these falcon guns here. Probably should unlimber them, get them ready to fire. I might move them up one more, actually. The only problem is I have to worry about the cavalry overrunning our guns. So, lots of issues here. I think I will unlimber them. So we go here. And they're now unlimbered. So I don't believe they can fire right away, though. Let's find out. Only horse artillery can move and fire in the same turns as I thought. Uh, that's not going to be for, uh, for a while yet on the old timeline. Um, so what do we do? do about these 365 men and what do we do about these routed units that this cavalry is going to come down and absolutely ruin so we got to protect that cavalry we have I believe if you're in line you can actually move and they'll keep their uh, facing. Let's find out. Let's find out. Yes. Yes, they can. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go here. And, uh, yeah, this is bad. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This is bad for the French, I'm going to say. Ooh, well, we can protect them with... We can back up here. We can back up here. These are only Stratiotes, so I'm not too worried. But this heavy cavalry up here, we definitely don't want to make it things easy for him. All right, so do we come down here into the edge of the map to protect these? Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can move routed units. I'm not used to that. I'm used to not having control of my routed units. Uh, yeah, we can move these guys. Can I undo this move? Nope. Too late now. Too late now. Okay, so... We are committed. Let's put the uh, leaders back on top. Okay. I'd like to get... Let's put the... Let's put the routed... Oh, no. Maybe we can't move them. What's it say? Routed units can only increase distance to nearby enemies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I go this way? Oh, okay. Woo! Ooh, yeah, this cavalry is causing us no end of grief. Okay, get into the woods. 
Very good, very good. Um, okay, and then we're going to come back down here. And if we come back down once more, we cannot because we're moving backwards, of course. But at least we got the woods here. Uh, let's move both of them here. And then we're going to move our commander into the hex with them so that he can attempt to rally them back. Get them back at least to disordered. Oh boy. So well, that's a very big gap. Alright, alright. So we're going to have to shift our whole line over. I want to attack this cavalry so bad, but if I do that I have to turn around putting my back to this. So I guess the pikemen are on their own. So we're going to move over here. Alright, we're going to turn and then we're going to... Okay, okay, this is, you know, getting something here. Where's that uh, heavy cavalry? So if Okay, he's disordered, but he could be recovered. What does he have for movement? 21, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just great. He could still charge him here. We're going to have to go here. Boy, oh boy, I don't know exactly what these pikemen are going to do. But man, they, they're going to push them. and I'm really hoping that these guys go here and their zone of control keeps him from... Then I have to worry about the... Uh, i got to worry about the artillery. Wow. Okay, okay. We're going to have to take a shot here. Okay, that's as close as we can get. Let's take a shot. The unit is not facing target. What do you mean you're not facing? Oh. Okay. I can turn once. There we go. Let's shoot. And we want to shoot, of course, at the... No effect. Well, that's just great. So zone of control here and here. You can still get to the man. Oh man! I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot, people. This is good. This is a good thing. Uh. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh my, this is not good. He's going to be able to flank us so easily. Oh. Well, I have a feeling that the uh, Kingdom Naples is going to have an excellent turn. Uh. Yeah, let's go here, turn. We could move Pikeman up. They'd be totally unsupported and flanked. So that's not a great idea, is it? No. Let's go here. Where are you facing? You're facing there. Okay, let's form a block. Let's form a block. That would move this button here. Okay, zero movement left. Zone of control is here and here. That's the greatest. We're going to go here. We're going to turn up. We're going to form a line. Holy smokes. 
I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna return. Form a line. And do we ever need those Swiss? Like this? Oh uh, God. Uh, you can go here at least. So you're all right, and I didn't even pay attention to my command radiuses, nothing. What's going on there? I must be hitting the wrong button. I am. Okay, so, well. This guy is out of, he'll become detached. That's great. Just great. Yep. These guys are out of their command range, so that's why you always hit the Q, or I should always hit the Q and the C button at the beginning of every turn. So, okay, so that was a terrible, terrible turn. Boys, have a little pressure on me and uh, folded, folded. Uh, all right, well, we're going to hit end turn. We're going to go to melee, and now we're going to send those pikemen into the cavalry. Great odds, but I have a feeling that uh, the cavalry is just going to run away from the pikes, right? Let's find out. Let's go to combat. Pretty sure I read that. It was all melee. Okay. So now they pushed them back here. And... They're facing that way, so if they're in their zone of control, so we're about to find out what that means when we go to the Spanish or the Kingdom of Naples turn. Wow. Okay. Not a great turn. What's what's uh, so for the uh, Kingdom of Naples? We have one only one unit undisordered out of the six units checked, and zero units routed out of the one units checked. I have a feeling that would have been the con. The, are the heavy cavalry here that would have been nice well it would have been nice for the French if they had routed but uh, that's good for us now that we're the uh, kingdom of Naples so can you get out of here well, we don't want to go there he's facing there so the only way we could go is up let's see if we can do that and we can do that obviously can't charge what happens if I get to these routed units when well, my movement's zero why because I was in his zone of control but I'll still be able to charge one of these line infantry the crossbowmen from behind so that's uh, still not good for the French still not good okay so now we need to help him we need to help him big time and For example, detached. Well, we don't have. Why are we detached? Q, C. Where is your leader? Down there, right. Right. Okay. Well, we could come down and we could hit this guy on his flank. So, well, he's disordered. These guys aren't, though. So, let's come down with 200. Or 199, sorry. And I think I need to turn, so we got to go to the unit, and we want to turn counterclockwise. And we move down here like this, and then we throw our javelins at them. And only kill three men. Okay. What do we have here? We have a disordered Stradiots, and well, that's because he needs to get into that command radius. Dare I do that? Jeez. I could come down here with them. Could go there. Yeah, let's do that. Nope. I need to come one more. Okay. Well, he's technically, even through, there's no way the uh, commander's orders could get to them. 
Um, okay, so next we have this Dragoon unit. And they, of course, want to dismount from their horses. And then they become basically crossbow. Crossbow. Where's our command range? We could go to here, but we just get shot all through. You know what? We do have an opening here, though. Is it that important to get back into the command range? Detached, but we're not going to do a melee. We could go there. I'm not even sure if the command is affected by enemy zone of control. Not sure. All right. Turn. Uh, dismount. And we can move one more down. We could take a pot shot. And why not? Why not take a pot shot? Yeah, I didn't think we'd do much. One man. Okay. Alright, we need to get the rest of these forces in here. So. Well, these would be great. If these could make it, they're in column. No, there's no way they'll make it. It takes half their movement just to switch to... Well, this one can go to block. I don't know if this one can or not. There's only one way to find out. Uh, these crossbowmen could come down. And change formation. And then move down one more. And shoot. Okay, we're doing a few kills here. Uh, let's turn him so he's actually facing the right direction. Quality E, come on. And he is part of this. So this, well, we know he's coming down anyways. Okay. Uh, I think you're just going to go in behind for now. Yeah, that's it. You guys can come down. Look at the movement on these. Now I could change them to block. Let's find out how oh, these guys won't have enough movement for one. Right? If I tried to hit it. Unit is not capable of block formation. So these halberds can only be in a line. Let's try it. We can't have a line and a block. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can. Well, they need to. I should really turn them. Yeah, we'll turn them. And I'm pretty sure that means they can't go to block. What do you mean unit is not capable? Oh, this one's going to go to block. And it does turn to block. Okay. Okay. So it's ready to go. And I believe these guys will have to switch the line. And what do we have here? We have crossbows. So we can go like this. Could come down and hit the suit as well. Just change to line. You cannot change to line. No line. What kind of unit is this? So they can they can only be in columns. Okay. Alright. Well, come down. Yeah, well, they get five men. Uh, do we move over? Yeah, or do we shoot here? What's the difference? Uh, huge difference. Huge difference. From 6 to 1.5. So technically, I should go right in there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now we'll shoot. I mean, hey, they can't even go in the line. How useful can these guys be? Quality E. What are these guys? Uh, no line as well. Okay, well, that's a major problem I didn't realize. I didn't 
utilize these guys. So that means they all take that penalty. What's the penalty? <sighs> what is that penalty? Call them fire. I can only do 25%. No. Can't be. Because they're they don't have the ability to go to line. Tell me that they do more than 25%. I mean, there's no way for them to do their full amount of damage, right? Or are they just so poorly trained that that's all they can do? What's the victory can do? Oh, six points. Well, maybe they, eh. so these things are useless. Well, we're just going to move down and fire them. That's what we're going to do. I mean, just lost 12 men. Yeah, I think that's 12%. 25%. Okay, well, that's great. That's great. What? But here I thought we had this all. No, not with these troops. Okay, so these guys can form a line, obviously. Oh, man. Well, did we walk right up? Or do we... I mean, look at the difference. So we want to get reach close flank range. We're going to take some losses to do this. Fifteen men, and of course they're getting a. Well, no, we are getting a fifty percent penalty to our strength because we're moving and firing, whereas they, the French, are sitting still. Use that as well. But next turn we will be, I mean, we could do a melee attack. I don't, cross me, I don't cross him then. Hmm. All right, so this guy has a commander with no line, can block. Can this one block? I don't think it can. So we have another really crappy 400 not trained at all halberd men, men armed with halberds that are stuck in column and they can't form a line. Oh, they can't form a block or a line. So they're just. Wow. What am I going to do with these? Uh, well, we want to get them into combat. Uh, so they're just going to head straight on down, I guess. And not only that, we need to get uh, these two units. These are going to have to come down with the commander as well. Let's see where, where we can get here. We can get in. Oh, no. Well, we're going to leave the uh, these fellas here that are pretty much useless from what I can tell. And we'll just move down to melee the crosswomen with these better halberds. Uh, this, yeah, we're going to be stuck in column. Yeah, this is something we haven't gotten into either, but if you try to change your formation, uh, they're based on the enemy threat level to you, like how close you are. Once you get close to the enemy, you'll start paying attention to this. Uh, so right now, if we tried to change formation, there's a 4% chance that we would fail. And the move threat fail of 2%. I believe that means there's a 2% chance that we'll disorder and not move when I try to get down here. But we're going to try. And we make it. So we will be able to do a melee attack on these crosswomen, the halberds. Now, I don't think these guys will be doing that, the crosswomen on crosswomen. I doubt it's going to be that great, especially these ones. Uh, and then we need to, what do we got here? We need to be here or here to not become detached. Now, of course, being detached, if we cross from it's not so bad. It's not like we plan on, uh, it's not like we plan on rushing into the enemy into hand-to-hand -hand combat, is it? All right, we're going to go here. Oh, that's right. They don't change their pacing when they're mine. Son of a gun. I got to change pacing. <clears throat> There's no sense in firing. 
Uh, I gotta come down one more. Get to command level. I did do it. I could shoot. It's not gonna do much. But uh, why not? What's the worst that can happen? I'm low on ammo? Never. That won't happen to us. Alright, these guys here. Oh, they can't be in a line either. Okay. Alright, well, that's, that's, I'm glad I, I learned that in a, in a solo, solo game. Always pay attention. I didn't realize units could not form a line. Or, or they're just stuck in columns. So, these units here, it's almost probably better to make them into skirmishers, isn't it? It's not like there's much advantage in staying in this column only. That's oh, too late now for these guys. All right. And they're out of command. That's great. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Dragoons are disordered. Disordered, disordered. Disordered. Oh, that's great. Well, let's move down here so we can get into the fight next time. Actually, I'll move down too. And hopefully we can rally. And then this divisional leader would like to go. We'll put him with get this guy into I need to go down one more all right well we'll put him with this great unit here 350 crack troops quality e can't form a line so he'll be there but he has all three of the brigade leaders under him in his command radius uh, I'm not going across the stream with these uh, guns so Let's uh, unlimber this gun. Now that one says setting up. Now what's that mean? Because this one here last turn, I didn't say setting up, but it said I couldn't fire it. So does that mean this one's going to take longer? Is this, are these guys ready to go? Not that they can shoot at anything. Everything's out of their range. Uh, they only have a range of 9, and the enemy is 10 away. So, all right. I think though I can click on these guys and I can hit this button. Okay, so there's what I can, what I cannot see. So are these units, even if they're down in elevation, they're still blocking our line of sight. So this is great. I'm learning all kinds of great stuff this time. That's great. Okay, well, I mean, what do we do, right? We gotta head down. We gotta put the pressure on. Now uh do we go up on the hill? Or do we stay there? I think we stay there. Yeah, not very effective. Of course they're a little bit more effective because they didn't move, but next turn. Uh, it would be, well, they'll probably stay right there, won't they? We're just going to be shooting at each other. Uh, da, 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 this is a line. Of course, we need to get the hell birds into action against the pikemen. Oh, my. Do I move in? No. That's not one bad. It's this here for a crossbow. A lot more crossbowmen than we have. Do these are downright veterans compared to what I'm using up there? Uh, well, we'll form a line, at the very least. Now, do the halberds? We're still in column. So we're going to go down one. 
and we're going to change the we're changing the block. It can also be in a line. Why would we do line compared to block? I think we want to be in block though. So we're going to change the block. Okay. And these guys are going to come here. All right. Well, at least these ones kept their uh now we have our divisional commander here. So he's going to come down here like this. These guys doesn't seem like he's doing anything for our rating though. It's just weird. I'm missing something there. Going to have to comb the rule book pages again. Crossbows. Okay, so these guys are a separate Who's his commander? Just the army commander? Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's right. We we slip these guys off. And how are we doing here? We'll come down a little bit there. I believe everybody's in his command radius. So this leader will be detached, but that doesn't matter. Except for uh, he won't be getting any bonuses from his the division commander that's above. Um, what do we want to do here? We want to flank the French, and we need to do this now. This is Halberts. They can do block. They can do line. Is there anybody here that can't do line? Yeah, here's one right here. I'm with these guys. There's two of them. And this is, jeez, look at this stuff. Look at these pieces. What is going on? And this is, I guess, to show that, you know, the uh, Italians, the Kingdom of Naples was, their troops were just way behind the times. Um, well, we can take this no line and we can make some skirmishes. All right. Yes, yes we can. And this is just basically trying to cover our our, our advance. And maybe maybe even get in behind. How useful that will be, I don't know. Okay. And then the parent unit should go down there. Okay, now we have to keep the parent unit. I don't think skirmishers matter if they're, uh, well, it probably does. This guy can form a line, but we'd like to uh, move over a little bit. Because we want to try to flank them. Let's go like that. And then you're going to go with these guys are good halberds and we're going to go here and these guys are going to come down here like this we can see just how far we can get away from him we can go one more which is all we can do anyways all right and then this quality e is going to come down here that cannot form a line it's really handy and this guy is going to come here like this. What do we got left? Nine movement. We go like that. And then we can even turn clockwise. Okay. And then the parent unit needs to come back one. And everybody's inside the command radius. Okay, no detachments except for the skirmishers. Which I don't think that's too important. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so now we have the Spanish. Don't have any reinforcements? God, it seems like, sure, sure feels like we should. Uh, okay, so we basically we have this the unit. These are just stragglers. Okay. Well, let's try to flank. Here we go. 
course, they're all going to be disordered. That's okay. I want to get it. Oh, shoot. But my command circle is big enough. That's fine. All right, well, we won't go any further. And then the army commander, he's okay. Okay. Um, do we want to do anything? No, they're just all disordered. All right, well, that is it for the movement and fire phase. Uh, and here I, I thought that we really... The French just lost with how bad that went, but uh, Kingdom Naples doesn't have a lot to work with here, does it? I didn't realize. Okay, so we're going to hit the uh, end term. We're going to go to melee. So this is where this is where things get fun, right? So first of all, can a crossbowman? melee with another crossbowman. It can, but uh, looking at the odds here, that would be a bad idea. But I... Oh, that was a really bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Well, now I'm... I don't think I can take that back, can I? Can I? I could clear, I could clear the melee. Well, what am I going to do with these? Like, I could I could melee with them as well. Okay, now we got a what? Why is it advantage slight defender? Well, we're going to do that. Oh man! Oh man! Oh come on! They're going to rout, or they're going to fail. They're going to fail at least one morale check. Yeah, okay. Well, that's great. All right, let's resolve that and see what happens. Not too damn much. That's what happens. Okay. So, the Stratiotes, they can melee, right? Oh, they're detached. They're detached. Really? Isn't this their commander? I can't tell. Oh, Q. I don't know. Who's their commander? Oh. They are in his command radius, but okay. So, and that makes sense. Because he's got enemy troops in the way, he can't give them orders. He can't help them out. So they are detached and they can't attack. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. I understand why that worked that way. So now we're going to say this disordered the blocks the zone of control is here. We moved out, but we lost all our movement because we were in the zone of control, I'm assuming. So really the only thing we can do here is charge up into the rear of one of these two crossbows. I would think this one. I would think. Ooh, those are good odds, right? Let's see what happens. Uh, combat. There's all melee. Okay, well. Was that really what we wanted to have happen? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not. We're still in the zone of control. Uh, Alright, well. We have our halberds here. They're in column. Which, if we look at here, column, though, we can still get 75% of our strength. So I still think we kick these guys' butts, right? They're crossbowmen. They only melee at one-third the strength. So it looks good to me. We have a leader. That will give us a bonus, 20%. Right? I'm going to try it. Slight to the attacker. Why would 300 to 133? That seems to me like it would be, you know, 
three to one odds almost. That seems like it should be more than slight. So let's see if we can figure that out. We have 400 men. They're in calm, so that's 70. You only get three quarters of that. Then we had a leader. I don't know. Shouldn't it be more than 300? Well, that's what we got. And then they're going to shoot and kill 24 of us. Oh, my. Well, it was all men. And we... That was not that great. That was not that great at all. Well, so we still have this crosswoman. You can melee. <laughs> I don't think that's a great idea, though. I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot this, this turn. Uh, that's really the first serious combat I've done. And uh, what did we learn here? We learned that sometimes units are so badly trained, or not trained at all, that they can't even leave column uh, formation. And that makes them almost useless. Uh, what else did we learn? Uh, we learned that... Uh, Units will become detached if the enemy zone of control or enemy units are interfering, which makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we learned that if you're in the zone of control and you move once out of it, you will immediately have no movement left. So I take it moving out of the zone of enemy zone of control takes all your movement. Is that what that means? I think that's what that means. Ah. Uh, Yeah, well, not as good as I thought it was going to be. All right. Well, I think that would be enough for today. Let's uh, we'll end the end the turn. Go back to the front. See if they get reinforcements. And they sure do. Reinforcements have arrived. So that's the Swiss, I believe. One unit I'm disordered out of four units checked. Zero units rallied out of the two units checked. So look at this. Our commander did not uh, rally, managed to help them rally. Two units, okay, zero units, right? Zero units routed out of one unit checked. So one of our units was checked to see if it routed, and it did not, which is good. All right, so we're going to, uh, right there, well, let's click here, uh, and then I'm going to save it. Well, I don't need to do that on video. So, yeah. Let's look at the overall situation. It, it's, you know, I, I think, you know, the French would definitely lose if things stayed the way they are, but the Swiss are here. Uh, so that is really going to change things. Can the French line hold long enough to let the Swiss come up? And can I learn enough about combat to pull off an effective attack? Those questions will be answered in future videos. Until next time, guys, take care and have a great night.